all know you as a dino guy, but I'm not sure if you even play dinos anymore. Hello, Yami Retriax. So, handless? Okay, we got Flash Assailant. Everything in both players' decks are super rares. If you catch someone using ultra rares or any pleb rarity cards, they're automatically disqualified. So, we see Flash Assailant, three back row. Flash Assailant with the full stats. Three sets from Yami Yug as well. By the way, Paradox has balance. Double Cyclone. On his own thing. Blast with Chain. That's a combo, dude. Man look kind of dead at the moment. Agreed. It's kind of sad. So that's a two for two. Draining Shield and Super Machi both going down. That's during the end phase, so nothing else can be done. Gateway to Chaos. Oh yeah, these are all super rares. That's Fuego. 2,000 attack coming in. Attack goes through. Back row seems to be poppable though. Swift guy going in. Draining shield. Uh-oh, so Yami Yuga has a choice of any card to Destiny draw. Two cards still in the hand. Pretty good spot. 4,300 life points. Thank you, Topaz. Although it's not my birthday. Mazo of the Empo. Pain 2K. Invader of Privacy. Super Machi Berry. It's all going to come down to this back row right here. Blast with Chain wouldn't do anything in this scenario unless he has something to destroy that Blast with Chain, which we won't, he won't have access to until next turn. Thanks for the two months, Vol says. Goes for the Swift Gaia. Goes down. Okay, it's a tight one. Two Flash of Sails. Just summons and ends turn. Interesting. Part of the card's coming through once more, thanks to the Mazo. Guns, you should become a professional commentator. Nah, man, I'd be too unprofessional to be a professional commentator. Mazo the Empo again. Is he going for the full board clear? Arcfiend Empress is coming through. Also 29. Wow. Both Flash of Thans getting wiped. This back row is not doing anything right now. Is it worth it to invest on level 45 Arcana and Yugi level 45 to make a Master of Magicians deck? Uh, I wouldn't do it. It's because Master of Magicians isn't that great. So parallel twister coming through. However, that's not going to be enough unless this back row is actually was actually playable the whole time. Destiny draw once again. Keep in mind that he can still summon another monster because he still has twenty three hundred. Mazo of the Empo it out one thousand this time. It's a Fang Huang. Was wild tornado. Oof, that was close, eh? Anyways, that's it. That's a clear board. That was a sick duel. Before Don taking game one. Wow. Hello? Oh, he went for the hand. The full handless. Right there. Had three gateways. Ooh, that's not a that's not a good start. It's not a great start for Para Bros. Air Bros going first again, by the way. That's shady. Shoddy. Not not shady penguin. Shoddy penguin. Not penguin. Okay, another set coming through. Plays the gateway. Adds another swift Gaia. That, that's potentially two swift Gaias on the board. What card do you want in the next mini box? I never I never have a card I really want in the next mini box, dude. 
I just take what they give me. Actually, you know what? I want more blue eye support. That's what I want. Is there a deck that is very intellectually demanding and has an extremely high skill cap that will test my intellect to the very most? Yes, Moki Moki. Double Cyclone, eh? Double, triple Cyclone. And he's going all the oh, blast with chain, going for the full black, full back row clear, dude. What a what a smart play. Three Super Machis set for bluffs. No, one was an impenetrable attack. That's that's game two going to Shadi. He waited for he waited to be able to clear the entire back row because he knows if even one of them protects, then Destiny Draw can pop off. Okay, so switching up the coin flips now. Yami Yugi going first this time. Pair of bros going second. If you want to get noticed in bit notes, do it right. <laughs> oh, Renville knows what's up, dude. We're experiencing a bit of drop frames. I think it's going to be fine, though. Mazo on turn one. That means Destiny draws poppable next turn. Two sets. Is that Tyler from 13 Reasons Why? Yes. <laughs> the Bajo that took took the broomstick all the way inside. Parallel Twister. On the double Cyclone. He's not waiting for this thing to go down, dude. Double Cyclone again. Is this another Super Machi Bluff? Oh, it's a Wild Tornado. Insane. Unless this back row is like Draining Shield, Yami Yugi is in a terrible spot. Swift Gaia to top it all off. The comeback of Handless, boys? Is this it? Oh, Regulation of Tribe. Hmm. But the thing is, what is one card that Yami Yugi can top deck to save him? I mean, he can go Draining Shield, but over the next couple of turns, he's going to have to top deck into some big tings. I tune in, I hear about the broomstick again. I thought we cleaned this up and stuck with the mop. Nah, it's always got to be the broomstick, man. Got to stick with the original. That scene is too much. I can't handle it mentally. Same, brother. Same. Dude, as, as soon as I thought they went deep enough, they stuck it in even deeper. All right. So, um, Shadi's going to wait it out again. He, he set one back row, but he's not going in yet. Second Swift Gaia. Is, if 13 Reasons Why is a waste of time, every other show is a waste of time then. No, 13 Reasons Why is like, it's actually a waste of time. Super Machi Berry coming through. That's going to heal him back up to 4k. Doesn't make too much of a difference though, guys. The balls are inert. If Para Bros can top deck something to take care of the back row, nothing's going to change. Oh, baby, a triple. Triple Swift Gaia coming through. Still no attacks. He's playing it very cautiously. Mazo, Mazo the Empo. He's going to get Endymion out. Crazy. Goes for one attack. Now it's now it's a top deck battle. Shadi's deck does have tools to be able to take care of Endymion. But... Will he top deck them in time? That's the question. Also, Destiny draws available, so literally he only has one turn to go before the pressure is really on. He's going aggressive. He's going inside. And he's gonna Econ. Oh. Wow. Destiny draw coming through again. Very wise to not go in with the second Swift Gaia because that means he would have 
if this was Draining Shield, which he probably had a read on, then he can muzzle out again. With only 1,000 life points, he can only go into... Oh, he has Amazon as queen, though. That's actually ridiculous. This cannot be destroyed by battle, even if this was higher attack. Let's see. Let's see what the next top deck is, though. Flash Assailant. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. This is a tight one, dude. Pokemon's dead. Pokemon Yellow Remake? Really? Isn't that the one where Pikachu followed you around? Ooh, he picked up the gateway. Not not great pickups for Parabros over here. Like, I was expecting any time for him to draw into, like, Parallel Twister or Double Cyclone Blast with Chain combo. It just didn't happen. But anyways, I think he still has a turn or two to pick up a card. However, there's two sets now. He still has to deal with the Queen and double back row. <laughs> yes, it is, and it's going to be autistic. What makes you say that, dude? What makes you say that? Okay, another set coming through. Flash Assailant. Wow. This game, this duel. You never know what to expect. It's kind of like a combination of Pokemon Go and a normal Pokemon. It's for the Nintendo Switch. I think it takes place in the region of Kanto. Combination of Pokemon Go and normal Pokemon? That sounds interesting, but... like Only if it's the original Pokemon's battle system. So Amazon is Queen attacking. Blast with Chain! That's 100 to uh, Yami Yug, but Amazonist Queen itself cannot be destroyed by battle. That's actually so cheesy how Amazonist Queen is just standalone, it can't be destroyed by battle. Like, even without running any other Amazonist, it's crazy like that. However, we do see the parallel twister coming through. This could be game depending on what, what his last back row is. He's gonna destroy the Amazonist Queen. And the, the board has swung again. Once again. It is now on Paradox's, Paradox Bro's favor. But he's going to Wild Tornado now. Only target is the Blast with Chain. So the only target... Well, no. I'm just kidding. So he's going to go for one of the back row. Going for the Draining Shield. Goes for the direct attack. Risks it. It's 13 reasons why a chick flick or something. I wouldn't say it's a chick flick. The Econs. Shadi has a spicy deck. Can you reveal his deck list after? Uh, yeah, if he gives me the permission. Okay. Pass play from Yami Yu. Is this game? He has a regular Ebola. He gave him regular Ebola. Guns Bajo, what was school like? School is fine. Super Machi Berry. Oh, another Mazo coming through. The board has swung once again. Yeah, that 100 damage. From the Blast with Chain Amazonist Queen battle actually mattered. Because he could have. That enabled his Super Machi Berry, allowing him to use Mausoleum one more time. One last set from Pair Bros. Is it gonna matter though? He's at 100, hanging on by a thread. That's game. So that's two games for Before Dawn. We're going to game four. Before Don just needs one more game before he wins the entire thing. If Shadi wins, we're going to a game five. Did I say I was a PC Master Racer, or are you just assuming that I am? Can't wait for Guns to get a Switch and then whip his controller across the room to get a Pokemon. Hey man, Joy-Con boys. Straight up. 
straight up flexing that hard at the cards with Destiny Draw every turn. I mean, yeah, he popped Destiny Draw. I think three times that game. Or the last game. Forgot. Diane Ketosis. Hello, Leo. Yep, this is a SR cards only tournament. One back row. Seems to be either cautious in sending the back row or has a handful of like high level monsters. We see a monster coming through, but that's a swift guy, yeah. He's gonna end his turn though with triple back row set and uh, uh, gateway to chaos set in the field spell zone. He had to set that in order to buff up his flash assailant and to be able to summon a swift Gaia. All right, Mazo's coming out. Did Pokey Draco get late or not? He didn't continue the series. Hey man, I left it open for interpretation until season two, okay? 2000 being paid. Invader of privacy coming through. Blast with chain. In response, are we going to see a combo? Blast with Chain Wild Tornado. Okay. So that's, that's going to be two for one. That's not as devastating as, if, as him using, uh, what's it called, Double Cyclone. But that does get rid of the threat for now. Okay, Parallel Twister. Oh boy, this looks like it's going to a game five unless this Bajo has some Ebolas on his hands. No, I don't think even if he even if he has Ebolas, like he'd be in a really bad spot then. First attack goes through, second attack goes through. We're going to game five, ladies and gents. Both duelists, two games apiece. Let's see what's up. Mazo right away, eh? Mazo the Empo right away. Oh wait, I forgot. He can't actually double cyclone during when Invader of Darkness is on the field. Uh, Wild T cannot target cannot target field spells unless you're unless you mean he uses on on his blast with chain. Okay, Destiny draw. And in that in that sequence, it would be the exact same thing, Moody. Guns, if you don't play it in 2019, I'm gonna go full crazy X mode and track you down and kill you in your sleep. Nah, Najo. <laughs> okay, so in Diamond's coming out, he's gonna drop an Econ to destroy the face down Flash Assailant. And Mazo it out again. For Amazonist Queen. Uh oh. And that's game, baby. That's game over. Well played by both players. Thank you for these interesting and spicy matches. Congratulations before Don. You are the winner of the Super Rare Only Tournament.